Hey, what's going on, guys? It's um, it's June twentieth, twenty twenty three. It's about one forty five p.m. here in Round Rock, Texas, and I have made it back up to Quick Hill for you guys to show you what it looks like in real time today. I'm gonna upload this without any edits so I can get it up there as quick as possible. Here it is. This is where the road ends, where it has ended for many years now. There's the highway. This is where the driveway was, right here. There's no, there's no, uh, nothing remnant, uh, nothing that can make, uh, that helps you tell that this is where the driveway was today. This is where it was, straight back. That's where the house was. Um, this is what's here today. I mean, you saw it from the other angles that I've, I've sent from on the other side, but now this is from the road. As you can tell, the road is still here. Uh, looks like people have been coming up here and taking pieces because a lot of the big pieces are gone. You can get small pieces. A ton of small pieces, but the bigger chunks are gone. Uh, my recommendation is to get out here as soon as possible. Save your money, whatever you got to do. Fly out here if you don't live here. If it really means that much to you, come and get some of this stuff while it's here. I don't know how long, much longer this road's going to be around, but they've spared it so far for this development. Again, drive right here. Uh, Ed Gwynn, Ed Gwynn. And the truck, the truck driver, he drove this direction, got out about right here, through the wrench, and LF hits him right here. LF falls right here. Uh, you can't even tell. I mean, it's it's sad. I was here about a year ago, and you could actually still tell some of these areas where LF exactly where you fell and everything. You can't tell now. Um, I called Perry's pole. Uh, which was a, a light pole, uh, sort of a, a, a power pole, sort of like that. It was on this side, and that was the only remnant from the movie that was still standing. And you could see it in the sh in, in the shot where Perry, the, the the truck driver that saves Sally, he comes and does a U turn right in front of that pole. That's no longer here. If anything, there's a new fixture there that connects. To that old one there uh, yeah I mean other than that what else uh, nubbins the hitchhiker gets hit about right here right on the on the decline where the hill where the hill starts to drop it's hit by a truck right here yeah, but yeah this is uh this is what it looks like today the truck pulls off and, and takes Sally down the road there pretty much grown in this is what's what your uh, pants are gonna look like if you happen to come up here in the summer especially if you're wearing socks they get all underneath and so so FYI but that's it the good news is the road is still here the bad news I guess you could say is I don't know how long and there doesn't seem to be many if any Big enough pieces to do anything with. If you're trying, if you're one of those that are trying to make a, a, a Texas-shaped piece out of your rock, out of your your road piece, or put it in a shadow box for display, this is all you've got. Slim pickings. Um, I have a handful of these at home, and I'll probably take a few more. But other than that, this is it. I mean, you you could technically, if you wanted come out here with a pickaxe or something and find a loose spot like over here where the driveway was right here and just you know break you off a piece right here I mean it wouldn't be hard this stuff is a uh, brittle you know so that's it here's your summer 2023 update I probably won't come out here for the rest of the summer it gets too hot it's only gonna get hotter and uh, we're coming up on 50 years of filming. They filmed this thing 
in July to August of 1973. So in about a month to a month and a half, will be at 50 years since this movie was shot. Pretty crazy. That's it. See you on the next one.